I don't remember how long ago this was, but I recorded a while ago a video on my content calendar in Notion, and I was using it, and I think I even at the time said, hey, there's some issues with it, especially with the iPad. It just, there's problems. It's kind of slow, number one. Number two, it just didn't recognize the trackpad very well. And it was a pain in the butt. Like, it was just a lot of pain in the butt about it. Uh, I couldn't automate it. The keyboard shortcuts, evidently it had some keyboard shortcuts. and even had a, like a idea to like do something about them and show them off on the iPad and it was just a pain in the butt. So I didn't. So what I'm going to show you today is what I do now. I'm going to show you my content calendar in TickTick, which is a task manager. It's just it's a task manager and it's pretty cool. So buckle up. Let's see what it looks like. Now in TickTick, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus mainly on um, the calendar view. We're gonna focus on the month view. So I got a lot of stuff in my month, clearly, but what TickTick allows me to do really nicely is go in here and click View Options, and I can go to my tags, and I can click Content Calendar, and then I can say Done, and all I see is my content calendar. So actually, I've already recorded and published all the videos for these other days. If I go to the next month, you can see like I've scheduled things out already. This is why it's excellent. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to build a content piece for myself um, with shortcuts, tick, tick. And I'm going to show you just how it all gets set up on my iPad, how I do it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty cool, I think, because clearly because I'm doing it. The first thing we'll show off is I have a content calendar. I uh, folder, I guess they I think they have some other name for it. They don't call these projects Eva either like they call it lists. Um, and I have a template one right here next or not next this content. You don't need that one. You want to see the video project, right? It's got tasks in it. It's got my edit task and a check in Grammarly so that I remember to do that because I don't sometimes I'm <laughs> not great with grammar. It's got subtasks under post subtasks under YouTube. So it's good that I've got that. And I'm going to use that with some automation. Um, some of this isn't 100% in iOS 14, so I'm not going to fault TickTick -tick for this at this point because I'm on iOS 14 and there are issues. I'm going to create a project called Dupe just because I know that's what my shortcut already uses. And then I'm going to go to, I've done everything for TickTick -tick as TT Dupe, and I knew it would bring up the duplicate project. I spelled that wrong, clearly. Duplicate project. And what it's done in the background is grabbed all my projects and it's showing them which one do I want to duplicate. I want to duplicate my video project and it's done. So you can see in my video project, I have it. Now, some things it didn't do is it did not mark it as color. So TickTick -tick doesn't support two finger swipe to the side. So I'm going to do this with my, my regular finger. There you go, finger. And I want to mark them as purple because that's just the color I chose. Because why not? Uh, and then I'm going to rename this. So I am going to do um, some mount on plywood. I don't have a title for this, but I'm going to redo my visa clamp that I have here uh, and put it on plywood with a cheap case. And I'm going to use like the magnet part of it and I'm going to stick it to the plywood and I'm going to like mount it all on the visa thing. So I don't have these clamps grabbing my iPad anymore. And I can just like magnet off and on. Um, I saw that from Ben Brooks site. I will try to link that brooks.net. I'm a member there. I like his content done and then I can move that down into here I think it yeah, goes after that one visa mount on plywood and then I'm also going to go to schedule I'm going to change the name of this to visa mount on plywood so that's because I'm going to use this I'm going to tag it as content calendar right here tent calendar so that's another thing there are a few Things I don't love in TickTick. -tick. I don't know if this is iOS 14 or just me, but anyways, uh, content. I can't actually use the trackpad here. I got to touch with my finger to select, pre-select that. Now, a few things it missed. You'll notice that I don't have my post tasks here. One of the neat things though, is I can go into video project. I can go to post and I can go down, hit edit, and I can go down to this. I don't know what you call this thing. It toggles between a list, just a plain text list and a, um, bulleted like a task list so then I can go back into post and I can paste it in and then I can go back to post I don't know why it deselected maybe because of that duplicate project checked because I didn't do that post good and we've got that in there and I can come back down to the video project I can go to YouTube I can go into the description again 
copy. And then I can go, I'll flip it back and I'll go back to this amount and YouTube and just paste it in. Cool. So now I've got this essentially set up. And here again, we get the cool spot. And I go in here and I can now show my tasks. I will show you eventually how I do this with uh, like my weekly planning with my tasks right here. Um, oh, I did that. Let's, oh, I selected that. So this is again, one thing it doesn't do, it's not selecting. I was actually gonna do this on my Mac and then I realized my duplicate project is on my iPad. So I'm gonna just grab that with my finger, drop it on the day. And so that has now set the due date for this schedule task to August 19th. Um, and if I was to drag it to a different day, it would change the due date of the task. And that way I can just like drag my content calendar around, which I like. I really like that. Um, yeah, that's it really. Like that's the end of it. Uh, and I've already done this. I know that. Oh, I just lost that somewhere. I don't know where. Into today. I'll find it after. I'll go look for that task later. Um, let's show you the shortcut. So let's go back to shortcuts and show you the tick tick shortcut. Tick tick duplicate project. Let's maybe even fix that project. Project. Awesome. So this is going to get tasks from list. This is one of their built in ones. And I found I had to convert it to text. Now there is literally some features again, like I've said a couple times in iOS 14 that are broken here, like I can't split by line uh, in text, there's a few shortcut stuff I just can't do. So I had to put it in text. And then really, all I hit was their callback URL and add task with title. And that's it. And I had to select the list, I couldn't get um, the selected list name, like I couldn't pick a project and make it send it to that project. Although there because it had spaces in the name, that was the problem. Um, so I just picked dupe as the one I was going to use. And that's what I'll use. And then I had to open URL um, like this with scripting and next callback, I couldn't <laughs> just it took me a while actually to get this short, short shortcut set up. Um, that's really it. And this was one based off like they have most of these, most of these they have on their site already. So like you can go to quick add multiple tasks. Oh, I don't want to do that actually. Um, all right, and this doesn't actually work. Oh, this one does work right now. Each line is a task, right? So a task title provided input. So each line is a task. And that's basically what I'm doing with mine. Each line is a task because it just returns like a, a list with line breaks when it gets the tasks out of a project, right? And you can, technically, I can do subtasks. Um, but you got to do the split, right? Split provided input by new lines it doesn't work right now in iPad OS public beta two. So I couldn't do that one. That's it. That's my content calendar and tick tick. And then um, when I go back, like when I'm looking at what I need to do, um, I just need to look ahead and see what projects are coming up and I can put them on the day, right? So if I go back to three day, uh, and we can undo my filters, undo my filters right here, view options, I wish there was like a clear, but there's not right, all done, I can now see like every see my calendar and everything in here. And if I go back month, I can go back to this time week, and I can see my whole week. And this is really how I operate, right? You can see I have this task right here, build content calendar and tick, record, done. And this was actually literally supposed to be done tomorrow morning, I want to go running with a friend all Friday. So I moved it. So I moved it. That's it. And then I have my Mac screen just behind me, and I can see it like updates in like a couple seconds, which is super cool. That's it. That's how I do my content calendar and tick tick fairly simple, fairly straightforward. It, the iPhone works really well too. I like the iPhone app. Um, it just works well. Tick tick all over good app I like it. If you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, you subscribe, then hit the bell so that YouTube lets you know what's happening. And if you really loved it, you can join me on Patreon Patreon. I give you uh, some extra videos. So I actually showed off some tick tick and weekly planning to my Patreon patrons um, last week. Uh, and then I'll do some Q&A once in a while and some other stuff just to, you know, recap of the week, what I'm working on, show off some new gear I have. They got to see my keyboards early, stuff like that. And that way you can support the channel. Have a good day.